Welcome to our cabin here on deck five. This is cabin 5173. This is a Britannia Club balcony. Let's go in and have a look. The first thing you'll notice when you come into the cabin is the safety information on the back of the door. That will tell you exactly where your muster point is. Our muster point is assembly station E. On the right, as you enter the cabin, there is your air conditioning panel. You can use that to make the temperature cooler or warmer in the room. Then below that, you've got the slot for your key card. Use this slot to activate the lights in the cabin. And then you've got your light switch itself. Use that to activate the main lights within the cabin itself. On the left side of the entrance to the cabin, there are three wardrobes. The first one is all hanging space. The second one has shelves. In here, you'll also find the laundry bag and a good size safe. Now this safe, I'd say you could fit a iPad in there, but you definitely couldn't fit a big laptop. And then onto the last wardrobe here, there is a small space for hanging, a very thin space, but also some shelves there. Now this isn't all the wardrobes in the cabin, there's actually one more wardrobe that's hidden away. So here is the fourth wardrobe in the cabin. It's quite an unusual feature because it's quite a small wardrobe. You couldn't probably fit a lot in this wardrobe, unfortunately, but it's nice to have the extra storage space and have made use of the room in the cabin. Next, we move on to this big double bed. Now in this cabin, the bed is set up as a double, but you can request it to be a twin. The bed looks super comfortable, but we'll test that out and let you know what it's actually like to sleep in. Next to the bed, there are two bedside tables. Each of the bedside tables has two drawers underneath them. They are a good size drawers. It'd be nice to keep all your little bits in there. On the right side of the bed, there is a phone and your TV remote. Also, there is a bedside lamp, a full size lamp, and underneath it hidden, quite sneakily, is a little reading light as well. Use the controls on the bottom of the lamp to control the lights. And then behind the bedside lamp, you've got two sets of sockets. You've got a UK socket and a US socket, as well as a USB-A and a USB-C. Moving on to this side of the bed, again, as I said, you've got another bedside table with a bedside lamp and a reading light next to it. Also, again, there's all those sockets that we explained on the opposite side of the bed. So there is plenty of opportunity to plug your items in. However, there is no UK socket this side. So if you need to use your plug, use a US adapter. Being a Cunard ship, you've got those extra finishing touches that you just expect from Cunard. These beautiful pillows are on top of the bed and they look absolutely stunning. Just next to the windows and at the opposite side of the bed, you'll find this two seater sofa. It is a good size and very comfortable. It's got two mismatched pillows and a wonderful picture above it that's in the style of a 3D paper print. It looks fantastic. When you get on board a Cunard ship, you are gifted a half bottle of champagne, which was waiting for us when we arrived in the cabin, along with two champagne flutes. Directly opposite the bed, you'll find this fantastic size TV, perfect for when you're relaxing in the cabin. This isn't just a TV though, you can use it to find all the onboard information that you need, such as checking your account and the daily activity schedule. There is also a small waste paper bin located in the corner of the cabin, just as you enter. Located directly opposite the sofa is this really good sized vanity unit. On top of the vanity unit in the desk area, you'll find all the tea and coffee making facilities you need. As we are cruising from the UK, tea and coffee making facilities are essential. Underneath the tea and coffee making facilities, there is a drawer and that drawer contains the hairdryer. We'll test the hairdryer out and let you know what it's like. Once again, on this vanity unit, you have got a good size mirror that's perfect when you're getting yourself ready for those formal evenings. Also, there is plenty of sockets here again. There's a UK socket, a US socket, and a USB-I and a USB-C again. So once again, lots of opportunities to plug in here. There is also an Illy coffee machine located in this cabin. It would be really useful for those coffee lovers and the pods that you need are located with the tea and coffee facilities. On top of the desk also, you'll find your daily program, some information about getting connected on board, as well as the mini bar costs. There are plenty of storage options as well here with some empty shelves above the coffee making machine. And then finally, underneath the coffee maker, there is a mini fridge. At this time, the mini fridge is empty, but you can request it to be filled and your mini bar charges are located on a slip of paper just above. 
underneath the vanity unit there is a really comfortable chair which is nice to have an extra seating area as well as the sofa. As this is a Britannia Club balcony, the size of the balcony is fantastic. There are two chairs and a small table. Now these chairs do relax as well, so that does mean in the sunshine, they're gonna be perfect for you to sit out and enjoy the warm weather. As you look down from this balcony, you can see the lifeboats, but that does not obstruct your view in any way. It's just something for you to note. Let's go into the bathroom and take a look. The first thing you'll notice is that there are two hooks on the door, great for hanging any items that you need as well as those towels. This is a really well appointed bathroom. The first thing you see is this illuminated mirror. Then underneath that you'll find a sink with two face cloths located on the top. Then underneath that you'll find a towel rail. And finally there's storage space underneath where there's a small waste paper bin and spare tissues. To the left of the mirror you'll find some small glass shelves, on there you'll find the liquid soap and the hand and body lotion. These are Penhaligons. Then above you'll find a small glass jar with some cotton pads inside. Then directly underneath the glass shelves you'll find your shaving sockets. To the right of me you'll find all the towels that you need whilst you're using the bathroom and then underneath you'll find the toilet. To the left of me you'll find a really good sized shower. This shower takes up nearly half the bathroom. Inside the shower you'll find those Penhaligon toiletries once again. You'll find a shower gel, a shampoo and a conditioner. There is also a washing line located inside the shower if you do need to dry anything off. Now finally there is the shower head itself and this shower looks super powerful so we can't wait to test it. This shower is just a fantastic size and it's got a glass screen. Thanks for watching our Britannia Club balcony tour of cabin 5173. If you've got any comments or questions just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video make sure you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any Queen Anne content. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.